serious. They accuse their school of putting their daughter in an isolation room. Only on 41 Action News, Andy Alcock spoke to those parents and got answers from the district as well. Kristen and Justin, those parents tell us their daughter told a state investigator today she's been placed in a room by herself on multiple occasions, including one incident witnessed by several other students. The parents believe their daughter has been criminally mistreated by school staff. Her name is Serenity, but life has been anything but peaceful lately for this five-year-old. Her parents say after a behavior incident, Serenity was dragged down the hall at Mill Creek Elementary School while her classmates watched and placed in a room by herself while a staff member held the door shut. Serenity was screaming. Her parents say she soiled herself, came home that way, and no one at the school explained what happened. She's only five years old. She should never be put in any kind of isolation. Anyone can file a complaint, but certainly we, we know that there is one and we will cooperate completely, of course. Assistant Superintendent Janet Richards sent this letter home with parents to reassure them. She says this room, labeled the collaboration room, is where students are taken to calm down after extreme behavior issues. Richard says ideally an adult is with them. There are circumstances where students potentially can be put in a room by themselves, correct? Those are very rare circumstances. Two other parents claim those situations aren't rare and their sons witnessed what happened to Serenity. He he said it freaked me out, Mom, so I can only imagine what it was doing to those other kids that were watching. He's six. He doesn't know how to comprehend or handle this. They could go and directly open up a line of communication with the principal. All the parents who spoke to 41 Action News tell us they have spoken to Mill Creek Principal Lindsey Miller, including Serenity's parents. Who's ultimately responsible, do you think? The principal. Ms. Miller. And she lied to us. She she, lied. She's never told us the truth about anything. Some of the parents have organized a petition drive for Saturday. Their goal is to have Lindsey Miller removed as Mill Creek principal. They plan to present that petition at the next school board meeting Tuesday night. I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News.